Hi everyone, this is Connie with Constantly Stamping. I've had a lot of questions asking me about the Silhouette and trying to understand its features and it's a little confusing and I know it was for me at first as well. So I thought I'd just do a really quick video, but I have to do this with my handheld camera instead of the on-screen. So I will just kind of try to hold the camera steady and forgive me if I don't. So first thing I've done, I have pulled my top note in just like I did in an earlier video. I'm going to select the trace menu and I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to move my high pass filter and then I'm just going to say trace outer edge. Then I'm just going to move the top note off the way and you will see that that leaves me with an image. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go up here to the menu on the top and I'm going to fill that with one of the Stampin' Up! papers that I already have loaded. And if you go to Advanced Options, let me get down here, if you go to Advanced Options, you can scale the pattern. Let me see, you can see what's happening there as I scale it. Okay, now, one of the things that you need to do at this point is go to the, see the little red square over here. You need to tell it, um, I'm printing this out eight and a half by 11. So notice how it says use printer setting. Even though my mat is 12 by 12, I'm going to be printing this out as a letter size. So you will see how when I click letter size, it changes it. And the most important thing to remember is this hatched area and then these red lines, you want everything to be inside that area. And the reason is that the, the silhouette won't be able to cut if it's in those hatched areas. So you need to try to keep it in this area. So if you could do, you could fill the page or add other things, but just for a time's sake, I'm just going to just leave it like this. Now I'm just going to go to File, Print, and it's just like any other um, print when you're printing to your home printer, because this is what you are printing to your home printer. You are not printing to the silhouette. This is my home printer, and then I'm going to go to Preferences, and I'm just going to select General Everyday Printing. Um, select OK, and just say Print. So go over here to my printer. We'll let that do that, and hopefully it won't take too long. And OK, there it goes. So now we have our printed paper. It's just like printing anything else. Now you'll notice, I'm going to try to lay this down where I can see it. Up here in the corner, there's a big black dot. And then this area, I meant to show you that on the video. Um, you have to select, let me go back over here real quick. You have to select this in the uh, menu. See how it says registration marks? It's the second from the right. And you have to say show registration marks. Um, you have to click that so that this these show up. Without those, I mean, it's fine if you're just printing uh, cutting vinyl or something like that, but if you're going to print on your home printer and then uh, cut it out, you have to have these registration marks because there's an optical eye in the silhouette. So I'm just going to line this up just exactly like it shows on the screen. Okay, um, I'm back, and I am back in my silhouette software, and there's a few things I need to show you. Um, you're going to go to the print cut settings and over here on the right you need to select the type of paper you're going to be using. I'm just going to select print paper because that's what I have loaded and then it'll automatically tell me which settings I need to use. I am using a cutting mat so I have to select that and it's going to tell me to put my blade on the number two setting. So I've got my printer ready to go so over here you can see this or not, it says load cutting mat, and I'm just going to select enter. And the blade I just have to pop out, and I have it set on five because I was doing cardstock. So this is your um, way to adjust your blade. So you just get it to pop in there. And see, I have it now, I have it on two. I'm going to pop that in there, put it back, and then I go back up to my computer. 
going to just tell it to uh, do a little test cut. I want to make sure that it will work for this particular paper. Sorry, you missed that. Let's see. I'm just going to pull that back out. And you can see how, okay, that was plenty. It does that little test cut back up in the corner. So I'm going to reload that. And I'm not going to move the camera. I'm going to try to put that back where you can see it. And I'm just going to tell it, select cut on my computer. And here it goes. Now, right now, it's searching for those registration marks. Notice how it's going up to the corner, the three corners where the registration marks are. Now it knows where the image is supposed to be, and it's cutting around the image. Okay, so let's see what we get. Let's pull this up here. Let me put where I can get to it. And. It's hard to do with one hand. There's your cut image. So you have your top note cut and ready to go. Of course, it doesn't have the perforations like you would with the die cut, but um, you can adjust this to any size and cut it and fill it with any paper that you want. So I hope that helps, and we'll see you soon.